guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you want to see how I made this um, hair bow board for our baby girl, um, she's due in a couple months, um, then please keep on watching. I'll show you guys how I DIY did this. And right now we're using it as a hair bow display above her diaper changing station. Um, but as you can see, you can also put some pictures in it, use it as a picture board. So I'm using it as a hair board and a picture board. And eventually when she's older and doesn't want um, to wear this many bows anymore, we can turn it completely into like a bulletin board or a picture board. So this was super easy. It took me about an hour to do everything, including painting the little dots and letting it dry. Um, and everything cost me about $60 total not including the bows of course so it's a relatively inexpensive and quick project and I did this because I was looking for something to display her bows in and I just didn't like any of the ones that were pre-made out there and I've been looking for a while so I decided to try my <laughs> try my own creativity and skills on this and then I'm really happy with how it turned out um so if you want to see how I did this, please keep on watching. And then if you have not subscribed, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. First, you'll need to find a board for your bow board. I am using a cork board that I found at my local Michaels. And it already came with a white frame, which is nice, so I didn't have to paint it. It was originally $60, but it was on sale for 40% off, so it ended up being $36. And the dimensions are 24 inches by 30 inches. And we also need a pack of string lights. I got this pack from At Home for $10, and it's 15 feet long, and it came with... 16 clear clips but i needed to order more from amazon because i had more than just 16 bows for the little girl and then we also have some plastic floor arrangements as decorations for the corners and then i also picked up some gold metallic acrylic paint and we'll need a tray to put that in also a couple of sponge paint brushes to make the circles on the board and I also picked up some metal studs to secure the lights on the board with and lastly we also need a hot glue gun and glue sticks I started out by pouring my paint into the tray and then with the sponge tool I made uh, dots all the way across the top of the board. I didn't use a ruler or anything. I just kind of eyed it and um, it doesn't have to be perfect or anything. And on the second row, I stagger them a bit. And as you can see, I'm getting a lot faster <laughs> on dotting it the second row. And this is what it looks like. And you can tell there are imperfections in there and there are some circles that are not fully filled in but I left it that way I think it looks really nice and then I take the metal studs which were actually in the leather craft section I think they're supposed to be like leather studs but I use those to secure the end of the fairy light string to the top corner of the board and since the stud has um, two pins on each side it really secures it in place but I think you can use a regular thumbtack as well if you can't find these studs and then I pull the string all the way across the top to the very um, end of the other side and then secure it in place again and then I pull it down a little bit vertically um, just depends on how much space you want to have between each rows, how big your bows are going to be. And then I repeat it and pull it across to the other end. And I just repeat the same steps back and forth until the whole board is um, covered. 
And this is what it looks like when I was all done. And that's me turning on the lights to test it out. And it comes with a battery pack on the top and I'll show you how to hide it in a little bit. So I'll need to secure the battery pack on top with the hot glue gun. And there is some extra wiring left from the lights. I'm just going to glue it onto the back of the board to hide it and secure it in place. You can see my hot glue gun is not the best, but it still gets the job done. And then I'm going to be applying some fake flowers on the um, diagonal corners to make it prettier and also to hide the battery pack on top so same thing with the hot glue gun And then I will go back later and um, pretty it up and position it to hide the battery better. And then I'm going to do the same on the bottom. And I chose just to do two corners. I thought that would look cute, but you can do whatever floor arrangements you like. And then I just glued part of the leaf to the battery pack to make sure everything stays up and hides it better. And this is what it looks like and you can use that as like a photo board if you like if you don't want to use it as a bow board um, or when she gets older and doesn't want to wear bows anymore uh, we can use it as a photo board and just clip the pictures with those little clips and this is me in the process of putting the bows on there um, you see the first two had a lot of material hanging down. Um, I decided to just tuck it in behind the bow and clip it all together. I think that turned out uh, better to make it look better. And yeah, that was it. Super, super easy, right? And I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. And also real quick, I found this little um, decoration, wooden decoration at Marshall's for $7. It says, hello, darling of mine. And I think I'm going to incorporate it into my board. I'm thinking I'm just gonna put it up on top. Like that, I think that's a nice touch to it. Um, of course, I'm not just gonna leave it like that. Um, I got some wood glue, so I will go ahead and glue this on later. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this quick and easy tutorial, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, let me know what you think of this, and if you try it. Alright, see y'all. Bye.